show you the full set. And just before I do that, I'm going to show you the stock of the half set here, the main stock, <coughs> which of course we added to the practice set, which is easily just detaches and fits in like that. But on the stock of your half set, there's two simple wee plugs here. Um, and they, easily, they just flick out and you insert the regulators into them and the main base reg is fit, base regulator is fitted on to the main stock so it's quite an easy thing to do to fit regulators and uh, here is a full set sitting on me right now I want to put this chanter away safely hopefully and that's the full set there and they look lovely it's a really impressive looking instrument um, and they look they look complex, but they're not. They're actually very simple. And uh, I'll just show you a wee bit about them, let you hear them, etc, etc. Chant and the drones are exactly the same. Uh, just before I mention the regulators, I'm just thinking I should really tell you what the keys on the chanter are for. There's one at the back here and one here, and they're for natural notes. So if you're up on the top B and you need a C natural, top C natural, you just press the top, the, the back key there with your thumb, for example. Now I'll press the thumb. You can hear that. You can hear it there very easily. And the other one here is for the F natural note. So if you're playing E, you just press it with your pinky and uh, it, it comes in very easily. It was quite effective. But uh, I, I don't really use the F natural at all. The, the top C natural, I don't know, I means some people play chanters without keys perfectly. It's just up to the individual, but they're certainly not essential, not something that you need to learn to do. Uh, they're added extras, but it's quite straightforward just to play the chanter itself. It's not something that, that's essential, but nice, nice added extra sounds if you want them. So here we go, the regulators, as I say, they look quite complex, but they're actually quite simple. Um, these keys, there's, this is the bass regulator, the long one here, which has got the deep sound, and then the two other baritone and tenor. It's a bit like having three wee chanters behind you that create harmonies. They, they, they build up to make nice, nice chords. And they really do have nice sounds, especially when you hear them behind the chanter. When I say they're simple to play, what, you, what I usually do is either play these two together or else the bass and the middle one together and sometimes the three together. Everybody's got their own style and uh, as I say when it's when you're playing a nice tune you would really just find a chord that works against a main theme note. That, that's a simple guide. I don't want to get into how chords are built up etc and what works etc but you really just kind of use a simple chord behind a nice theme note and it'll work very nicely. Like, for example, if you've got... Three very simple. And you just rest your hand on when you're playing uh, the tune. For, if we were to go back to our uh, theme tune of the day, Heck to the Hero, I'll just give you a quick blast. You'll hear the drones on straight away like that again. Nice, 
it's not uh, it's not really difficult at all to be honest once you train yourself to uh, just move your hand freely and the bag position of course the bag position is very important so that everything sits there and while you're playing you can just rest your hand on a cord I mean what I'm showing you all today is a very very simple approach for Highland Pipers how to, how to get a gateway in and start playing and as you can see you know it wouldn't take you long to get up and doing this when I learned I was a as an adult I learned Dylan Pipes and uh, I started on a full set and I asked a very famous uh, older Irish piper, piper what should I do should I start with the chanter or should I start with the drones or should I leave the regulators and he said to me quite categorically just get the lot going and start bashing away that's what he said to me and that's what I did and I'm quite glad I did uh, because uh, before I knew it I was up and, and, and using the regs which I love, I love the sound of the regulators so you can use them uh, on, on quicker tunes with uh, with more different rhythmical patterns uh, for example kind of thing uh, and you would just develop it from there really and use it again as much or as, as little as you want but uh, great great fun instrument to play and beautiful sounds and I would encourage uh, any, any Highland Piper that fancies a shot to go ahead and have a go. Thank you. Mm -hmm.